Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So today I've seen the incredible trend of unicorns that it's taking, so I thought I would teach you guys how to draw one of my unicorns. It's just a lot of fun, and this is on watercolor paper, so I might turn this into a watercolor at the end. What I wanna do first is I'm going to make a circle. After my circle, I'm gonna go ahead down here and make another circle. Of course, this is the nose to my unicorn, so I'm gonna go ahead and swoop this around and connect both of my circles together. And round out the bottom to make it a little bit flat and make this a little rounder. After this, I'd like to go up and make her a little ear and just curve that towards this way. And then I'd like to go ahead and make her horn. Now I'm gonna jump up just a little bit to up here. And make her horn go all the way out this way. And just curve that around. So after I curve that around, I'm gonna jump behind her horn. I'm just lightly draw through the horn for a little while and then swoop back in and go into her ear. All right, before we draw the rest of her mane, I'd like to go ahead and make her neck at least. So I'm gonna bring down her neck, which is going to be a big circle and it's gonna go right back up into her head. I'd like to make another really big circle right here. So after I make this circle, I'd like to go ahead and make another circle in the back but I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. Now from her neck, I'm gonna go ahead and dip down, go into her back. So there's the top of her body so far. Now I'm gonna jump down here to the bottom of my circle, move this upwards just a little bit, and I'm gonna bring down her first leg. So I'm gonna make this more of a rectangle feel, not too complicated. So I go down, all the way down, and I start to go up. Curve this part up, and go back up into the leg. And I'm gonna make a little hoof. So I'm gonna go down, and then I'm gonna go up, but leave a little bit of space right here. So it flows into each other. So her thigh of her leg, I mean the part, that her upper part of her leg is gonna go in. And then I'm gonna jump in front of her. And then I'm gonna make the other leg, like it's up outwards. Curve it in towards her other leg. Stop there, and then I'm gonna jump on this side, and then come to this side. And I'm gonna close this off, her leg, and then I'm gonna jump underneath and make another hoof. Now I'm going to jump back here underneath this circle and curve this inward. And then I'm gonna bring down this side and bring down this side. I'm gonna go from her bottom, start bringing it down, but then I'm gonna curve it outwards just a little bit. I'm gonna go back to this side, start curving it in. And then I'm gonna start going towards the rest of the feet. So I'm gonna bring this one in down this way. And I'm gonna jump back up here. After I curved it in, I'm gonna slowly go and then close and just make that rectangle. So ultimately her leg is a rectangle. So then I'm gonna jump behind. Under, so I'm gonna go underneath her leg once again and make her other hoof. 
and still leave that little bit of distance in the back. Now, almost mirroring it in another way, I'm gonna go alongside this one, curve it in, and then I'm gonna go outwards with her hoof. Actually, I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go outwards with her hoof, a little bit closer to this one, a little bit higher than the other one. Close off that leg, go up. Curve it down. So I go back here and I'm doing the same kind of anatomy that this leg has back here. Curve it outwards. And then make another hoof. And we're gonna make her tail. So we're gonna go out. And I'm gonna curve it back in. I'm gonna make a little bit of like curlies in it. So I'm gonna curl down by here. So I'm gonna jump back up here. I'm gonna go through her ear. Go out. So I curve, I start to curve downwards. So I curve downwards, out. this in and then bring this one in back into her all kinds of flowing hair I'm gonna make her neck flow down into the rest of her body then the next thing I'm going to do is on her face I'm gonna make a little circle not going to give her a mouth because it's just trust me it looks really pretty and then I'm going to make a closed eye and give her some eyelashes. Now you have the whole setup for your unicorn. So that's how you draw a unicorn. I think I'm gonna go ahead and watercolor this because I think this would be a really pretty picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and watercolor it and I will put you guys into a time lapse.
there you guys go. There is how I would make a unicorn when it comes to just making unicorn. This is done in my own style, just inspired from all the millions of unicorns we see everywhere, whether they be memes or all over the internet or in every single store in the entire universe. <laughs> but yes, guys, I hope you give it a try. I hope you enjoy this and give water a color a try because this is a really fun to watercolor. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!